Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Poe, and I am gonna show you how we can use this platform to create amazing AI images. And for those of you that haven't used Poe before, in a nutshell, it is a super center. <laughs> it's an all-in-one platform that has all of the best AI models, state-of-the-art large language models, AI image generators. They're all in one place. They're easy to use, and they have both a free account and a paid account depending on your needs. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can access the best models and we're gonna do things like creating AI images with Flux, the brand new Flux. It just released, I think two days ago, it's already in Poe. Dolly 3, all the different stable diffusion models, ideogram, playground, and even a little bit of video animation using Pika. We're gonna do all that in just a few short minutes Let's get into it. All right, if it's your first time using it, it's really easy to sign up for. Just head over to poll.com. I'll put a link in the description below, and you'll see the screen here. You've got a couple of options. Log in with your email, log in with your Google, or log in with your Apple. I'm going to go ahead and use Google because I've already got an account. I'm going to click on that, and you'll see here I just get to select my account, choose an account, click on continue, and we are now in Poll, and now we can start cooking. Let's roll. All right, once you've logged in, you should see a screen that looks exactly like this. You may have a side panel open here. Just go ahead and expand the sidebar as you see fit. Now, here's the thing. Real quick look around here. You'll see here there's a whole bunch of official bots right in the middle here. But as we go down, you'll see there are literally thousands of different bots. Now, I mention that because we're going to stick primarily to the official bots. We're talking things like, you know, Dolly 3 and Stable Diffusion and things like that, Ideogram, Playground, etc. But for those of you that really want to go out there and try some cool stuff, I do highly recommend you take a look at all of these different bots. There are bots upon bots upon bots that you can try out. So many different things you can do with this. We're going to stick to AI image and AI video generation. So to do that, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these bots. So in the official bots, I see one called Flux Pro. This is the one I want to start with. A couple reasons why. One, it's a mid-journey alternative. It's a mid-journey competitor. And secondly, well, it's brand new. It's been out for two days and it's already been integrated into Poe. So I literally just clicked on it and presto, we are now cooking. And now we're going to start generating some images using Flux Pro and a few of the other ones. Let's go. All right, so we selected Flux Pro to start with. Also keep in mind on the left side here, if you open up that sidebar or that side menu, you can always click on Explore. And when you do that, you'll see here that it's got a bunch of bots grouped by genre. And one of the ones that we're looking for, of course, is image generation. So if I clicked on that, take a look at this. Here we go. These are all AI image generation, image generation bots. And you can go through this list. There are crazy numbers. So again, we've selected Flux Pro, but if we were doing anime, I would probably use Animagine XL, and if I was doing a, um, a let's say we were doing a, a cartoon, I would probably use Dolly 3 or Stable Diffusion. So there's all different bots depending on what you're going with. Let's start somewhere, though. So we're going to start with the brand new Flux Pro like I did earlier. And now all you need to do is ask for something, like literally type in what you want. I, I want a French bulldog reading a book on the moon and being i'm doing that because i have a french bulldog and he's a wild man and uh yeah that's the theme of most of my image generation so all i gotta do there is click on the go button here which is this little arrow send the message and watch this it's generating the image it takes a few seconds i'll come back when it's done and then we'll keep going all right welcome back so that only took about 15 seconds not even 12 seconds perhaps and here we go we've got ourselves an image and i like it as a french bulldog owner i really like it one thing I might critique is the book appears to be floating, but that's okay because bulldogs don't really have hands. So what I said didn't even make any sense in the beginning. Okay, so there we go. We've done it with Flux Pro. Now, as we scroll down, take a look at this. We have more options and they are fantastic. If we wanted to try out different AI models, let's say we wanted Stable Diffusion XL, Ideogram, Stable Diffusion Three, playground upscaler. If we want to upscale it, we can redo it. If we wanted to take another crack at it, we can click on resend. And if we want to animate it, we can animate it with one click using Pika. So in this case, let's go ahead and try a second one. I'm a big fan of Stable Diffusion 3 and Excel, but let's go with Stable Diffusion or SD3. I'm going to click on that. Watch this. It's going to go ahead and create another version, this time using Stable Diffusion 3. And then what we can do is we're going to run a whole bunch. Oh, geez. Wow, that was fast. That took a literally like four seconds. And then you can always click on it if you like it. 
I do like that one here, and he is on the moon, and he's holding on to the book. I like it. I could just click on that little download image button there if you want to keep it. If you want this one, I can click on this one here. If I really like it, I'm going to go ahead and send it to the Upscaler. This uses Playground Upscaler. Let's do that. I got you here. Let's click on the button. Here we go. So now we're upscaling it. For those of you that want to use this in, you know, maybe on a website or a YouTube thumbnail and you want a high-res um, image, all you got to do is click on the button and it's done. It's just take a few seconds, come back when it's done, show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So now we've gone ahead and upscaled it. So let's do a quick comparison. And now, very quickly here, at the beginning, here is the original shot. And if we zoom in here, just take a look at the ear here. You'll see that it's got nice details, but it's not elaborate. And if you look at sort of the fur here on the arm, for example, it's very, very nice, but it's not super detailed. If we click out of that and we go to the new version, which is this one here, and we zoom in, you'll see a lot more detail in the uh, in the fur here down here. You'll see a lot more detail in the ear, just like that. And literally, it was one click. So that's how you go ahead and create high, high res, super good <laughs> AI images using Poe. Let's go a little further and let's take a quick look at Pika because we want to animate these now, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. Let's do that. Animating in Poe is a piece of cake. It uses Pika as the model or the bot, I suppose. And literally it's one click here. I'm just going to click on animate using Pika. Watch this. It says here, add bot and send message. Absolutely. And it uses 3,000. 750 credits. I've got a million credits I've got a paid account, so doesn't really matter to me, but hey, there we go. Now it's going to process it. It's going to generate a video, and when it's done, I'm going to come back and show you what we got, and then we're going to look at some of the bots that the community has made, because there's so much we can do there as well. So anyways, be back in a second, show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So it's one thing to create an image. It's quite another thing to create a video of that image. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to click on the play button. And look at that. We've got a French bulldog reading a book on the moon animated video. And literally, it was one click. It could not be easier if you tried. If you wanted to keep this, you could just click that little download button. And there we go. A close-up shot of a Frenchie sitting on the moon reading a book. Job done. If you don't like it or you want to see changes, you can always click on resend. Or alternatively, you can just type in another prompt and get what you get. It's that simple. It's that easy. Now, let's go look at some of the community bots, and I'll even show you how you can create your own bot if you make, want to make a few bucks. All right, let's take a look at that. All right, now, to check out some of the user-created, the community-created bots, super simple. We're going to go over to the top left, click on Explore, click on Image Generation, and then as we go down, you'll notice that some say official, some are official and require subscriber access, so you got to have a paid account. And then some of them you can just use for free. Now, as we go down here, there are so many to choose from. So, I mean, as many, I want to show you Disney style, logo designer. These are some of the more popular ones. Anime XL, etc. Real XL, photo magic for photorealistic. You can go through these caricature. You can go through these and look at all of them. Most of them are free to use. In this case, I want to go ahead and select logo designer because it's completely different than what I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to click on it. It's literally that simple. And then if you want the bot info to see who made it and how they did it, this was made by at Dr. Doak. <laughs> and uh, he's a logo designer, and I will design a logo for you version 2. So we're using logo designer version 2. Now, all you got to do here is the same as what I did earlier, create a logo of a French, oops, French Bulldog Coffee Company. There we go. I wish I could type better. Click enter. It's going to take a few seconds. It's going to cook something up. I'll come back when it's done. I don't even have to leave. It's already done. Okay, see how easy that was? Awesome. If I wanted to go ahead and make some changes, of course, I can resend it. I can remix it. So maybe I like this, but I want to make some changes. And, of course, you can animate and run it through different different models like Flux Pro, Stable Diffusion, etc. Dolly 3. We haven't done Dolly 3 yet. That's in there. It's fantastic for logos as well. So that's it's that simple. Now, I'm going to very quickly show you how to create a bot. Just take a few seconds. Some of you that are a little adventurous and want to try new things, try creating a bot. You can even monetize them. It's outside the scope of this video, but you can do it. Let me show you how to do it right now. Let's go. All right, everybody. Last but not least, for those of you that are adventurous, like I said, let's create a bot. Here we go. Click on Create a Bot, top left there, and then we get some options. The one we're looking to do in this one is going to be image generation, but you are not constrained to that. If you want to do prompting for LLMs and 
creating chats and things like that, go ahead, or video generation when using Pika, also good. Click on image generation, here we go. I'm gonna name it, it's uh, image generation type bot. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it Kingston Pike, because that's the name of my dog, and we're gonna go with that. I think it's all gotta be lower level uh, letters, I think. And there we go, we're gonna select our base bot. So right now, it defaults to Flux Shell. Flux just came out a couple days ago, but hey, I wanna use Flux Pro, because that's the brand new super version. Let's go ahead and select Flux Pro. Why not? Do keep in mind, this is a subscription limited base bot, so not everybody will be able to use it. You'd have to be a subscriber. Now, here we go. If you want to view the best practices, click on them here. This one here is going to be a Van Gogh style bot. I'm just making this very, very simple. And then in terms of greeting message, hello, I am Kingston bot. I make, I make Van Gogh style images. Oops, there we go. There we go, done. And a bio, I am Kingston bot. I'm doing this very quickly here. You would want to fill this out a little more in depth than what I've done here. And I'm going to show the bot in my profile. And of course, I want other people to see it. Literally, that's it. Click create bot. Continue without editing because uh, complete your bot's profile by adding a picture and bio. Okay, that's easy to do. I'll do that later. And then presto, it's done. Hello, I am Kingston bot. It's loaded up. Bot is created. Now, let's go ahead and it's already set. Talk to Kingston bot, create a bulldog uh, image, and I'm just going to click on go ahead because it should use the Van Gogh styling. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got, wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So we just used our own bot that we created in seconds there. It's called Kingston bot, and here's the first crack at it. Here's our image. It has some Van Gogh-ish type brushwork in the fur here. I probably should have been a little more uh, specific in my prompt, but that's okay. If I want to upscale it again, all of the same things apply, including animating it here. And if you want to go ahead and explore here on the left side, take a look at this. Down at the left side on the bottom, actually in the middle, pardon me, click on your bots, and you're going to see here that I have my own bot. So I've got Kingston Pike here, and I think I made one more somewhere else too. Yes, Curtis Pike bot here as well. So these are all bots that I've created, those two, and then these are all the other official bots that I've been using. So there you go, guys. That is a World 1 tour of Poe. It is fantastic for AI image generation, AI video generation. Links in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.